Hey, this is Chris with IMA. Uh, recently, we got a request to do a video about the bleeding control and shock management NREMT sheet. So let's go check it out. All right, so I have my BSI and my PPE on. I'm making sure my scene is safe. Uh, what's my scenario? Patient has a large uh, arterial bleed in the left upper extremity right through here. Okay, so you said arterial bleed, so it, it looks like it's bright red yep. and spurting. Okay, perfect. So uh, first thing we're gonna start with is gonna be some direct pressure. So I have a five by nine bandage here. Uh, we're gonna hold that over and we're gonna secure that with some Coban. So we'll do that here. We'll hold some pressure on that to help to try to stop that bleeding. We'll wrap this around to hold it, and hold it down. All right, so that is secured. Has that controlled the bleeding? The wound continues to bleed. Okay, so next we're gonna go right to a tourniquet. So I've got my cat tourniquet here. We'll slide this up over the arm. Gonna try to get this nice high and tight up on his arm to help control that bleeding. Okay, we'll secure that tourniquet down. Open this here. We are gonna twist the windlass until I notice that the wound stops bleeding. Uh, we'll put this down. We'll write the time on. I'm gonna check for CMS. Uh, I don't expect to find a pulse. Um, because of the tourniquet, I should stop the pulse down at the radial site, but do I have motor and sensory? Uh, you do have motor and sensory. Okay. Uh, has bleeding been controlled? Yep. Bleeding has been controlled and patient is exhibiting signs and symptoms of hypoperfusion. Okay. So, uh, we will take the patient. We're going to lay them flat. So we'll lay him down supine here. We are going to place the patient on high flow oxygen. I have my non-rebreather mask here because it seems he is still ventilating appropriately. So we'll place him on oxygen and we are also going to keep the patient warm. So we will cover him with a blanket. So that we do not lose any body heat. Once he is covered, uh, we will be begin uh, immediate transport to the hospital. Okay, you are done. So that was the NREMT bleeding control and shock management scenario. Like I said before, we got that from a comment. So if you have anything else you would like to see, any videos you would like us to make, go ahead and leave a comment for us and we'll see if we can make that happen for you. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe, like the video, check out our other videos we have on YouTube. We have a bunch of different videos in the EMT world, in the phlebotomy world, all sorts of different medical videos for you. Um, otherwise, we'll see you next time.